Our next award is also to a municipal scheme serving less than 10,000 citizens, and this, this award is based on expansion, growth. The award is going to be presented to the city of uh, Aberdeen, Scotland. If you are with us today, uh, you've heard a little bit. But Aberdeen, in 1999, you might have heard this story, they were really tackling a challenge, affordable uh, warmth. They adopted an affordable warmth strategy because at the time, a lot of the public housing not only had no insulation, but it was electric heat. This is a challenge. Uh, so in 2002, the community leaders launched a nonprofit district energy CHP system. And if you heard Councillor Crockett this afternoon, their lawyers told them not to go forward and their leadership pressed ahead. They converted the local housing from poorly insulated all electric and today they have district heating supplying 86% of the community in Aberdeen. Uh, what really set them apart is their business model, this innovative business model that they've used to finance the growth and to build in nodes, not to tackle the whole city at one time, but to build these heat islands and as they, as, as they connect, uh, they interconnect them and grow the community. It's very much a community-based uh, uh, project, very high efficiency, cutting the carbon emissions by 45%. And I think uh, Councillor Crockett is going to share with us, they're also not resting on their laurels. They're moving forward, uh, looking to integrate uh, hydrogen, fuel cells, and quite a number of other innovations. I'd like to uh, <coughs> warmly welcome, if you would please join me in congratulating uh, Mr. Michael King, who's the board director from Aberdeen Heat and Power, and Mr. Barney Crockett, uh, councillor with Aberdeen City Council. Uh, let's give them a nice round of applause. Ladies and gentlemen, um, three things to say is that firstly is that um, it's, it, we are humbled and really, really honored to, uh, to, to get this award. Um, over the past uh, uh, decade when we've been developing this project, we've heard uh, uh, so much about you know, the hero cities of uh, New York, Boston, uh, St. Paul, uh, uh, Copenhagen, Helsinki, Stockholm, and to be able to, to rub shoulders uh, with you all is, 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 is indeed uh, a great honor. Uh, uh, just uh, proceeding with uh, a beer, Lawson, receiving that award, I remember hanging out in the, uh, the pub with yourself and uh, Jorgen Jorgensen after a Euro Heat and Power meeting 10 years ago and telling me, telling you of my dreams for the UK. And uh, we're, we're, we're not, we're very small, but we're, we're, we're off the blocks. Um, the other thing, uh, the second thing is in, in terms of validation, is that when we started out, is that uh, 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 we, we were told is that uh, we couldn't do it, we wouldn't do it, and therefore we shouldn't do it. And to, to paraphrase what uh, uh, Juan uh, uh, said uh, uh, earlier on today, is that uh, if we can do it, um, anybody can do it. And so we hope that uh, others will take heart from that. Uh, the, the last thing is to say is that um, uh, we wouldn't have done this uh, without the, uh, uh, the City Council. We were brought into being by the City Council and have been sustained by their, their leadership, encouragement, and, and support. Um, and I would just sort of clarify, when I mean support, I don't mean that they're actually uh, funding us in any way, is that we are financially self-sustaining. But I'm really, really proud and delighted to be able to uh, uh, share uh, this award today with the, uh, the leader of Aberdeen City Council, who's uh, a, you know, a very big man in the northeast of Scotland, and I'm so pleased that he's taken time out to travel with me, uh, hear me today to New York, and uh, uh, if I could uh, ask Barney to say a few words. Uh, thanks very much, Michael, and thanks to, to the, everybody that's been responsible for this award. I mean, it is indeed, as was said, uh, uh, humbling. I think that uh, the, the challenges of doing it, a bit like Saudi Arabia in Aberdeen, it's an oil city, and uh, to achieve this, it's a bit like uh, Dr. Johnson said when he saw the dancing dog. He said, it's not that it does it very well, it's just amazing it does it at all. <laughs> and, uh, but 
I do want to reflect a couple of things that uh, Kai Uwe mentioned earlier uh, this evening. And uh, one, he spoke about uh, branding uh, uh, in various ways. And I think it would be ever so proud uh, for me if our city was branded not by a beautiful building, but by a social initiative uh, that grew from the people and is delivering affordable energy uh, to all our citizens, in particular poorer citizens. I think that would be a, tr a tremendous thing uh, for our small city. And um, also he spoke about the strength of involving more, uh, uh, you know, the more people you involve, the, 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 the stronger the initiative. And I think that's something also that comes out of the, the, the project here and that, that we can take forward uh, further. And so once again, thank you very much for that, all of that encouragement to all of you. Thank you very much. Thank you.